We'll go on, yeah. re- relay, relay that story uh, now. So I was, uh, I was up in Scotland in, in a pine forest in the middle of nowhere, literally mm-hmm. in the middle of nowhere. And um, I bedded myself down for the night and got in my baby bag and, you know, as the, as the light was going. Uh, fell asleep. I was wakened by a noise. Thought, what's that little bit of rustling stuff going around? Opened my bivvy bag and there was a badger about a meter away from my bivvy bag. <laughs> uh, and it sort of looked at me and I looked at it because I'd moved. I'd, uh, I had the back doors of the van open with a tarp and the dogs barked and off it shuffled. Uh, but it came back almost immediately. Is it to say, what are they up to? You know, <laughs> and I had to literally get up out the bag and physically chase it away without harming it, um, giggling to myself, and then back in my bag I went and I was back fast asleep again. You know, so I do actually in those environments, a flourishing environment, I, I feel a lot better in my mindset. I'm happier within myself. I sleep a lot better, which obviously gives me more energy, and and I, and I feel really at ease because what, I'm getting what, that much sleep. What is it? Do you, you do, what's the difference? What, what makes you feel more relaxed when you're out there? You know? I don't know. I, I I I don't know what it is, but I'll, I'll tell you this. And it, this is a funny thing, right? So this year, the Royal British Legion. Um, Asked people to do what they called the great Tommy sleep out. Okay. And what this was is for you to sleep out mm-hmm. in the open air mm-hmm. for charity. Right, right. And the money goes to the homeless okay. veterans. Great so the way, so the a fantastic cause can't can't knock it. Fantastic. Now, in my mind, if it's for the homeless vessels, we should be sleeping out without a tent. Yeah, yeah, get it. So what I do is, on my training ground, I set up a bivvy, which is what you'd sleep in the military. Right. What is a bivvy? Uh, so a bivvy's just a tarp, basically. Okay, right. Tied up with a bit of string, over the top yet, no sides, no front, no back. Right, right. Uh, just to cover, to keep the rain off. Um. And I selected, uh, I was going to do two days, mm-hmm. um, I, and I have got sponsorship from, from a lot of kind people, uh, and made quite a lot of money um, for doing that. So I've done the two days, that two days, the lead up to them two days was lovely weather. Them two days, it absolutely lashed it down for the whole two days. <laughs> and uh, I was, did you sleep? Slept, <laughs> slept like a log. I know, I, I'm not kidding you when I say that. I slept like a log to the point where I'd done nine days. Oh, what's it on? Really? I stayed and I'd done nine days oh instead of the two days. It, it must um, be kicking it off in the end of the day. <laughs> <laughs> but it was that. I felt bad at ease doing it. Nice. And even though I wasn't really in the in the wilds, I was only at the training ground, which is a fifteen acre field basically. Do you think it's going back to something that's familiar with for you? Do you understand the mere like uh, well it goes back to your childhood, the yeah. camp and the stuff like that, but you it's like let let's go back even further than my childhood. Let's go back to where there was no electricity, there was no you know, there was no houses, there was no nothing. People slept with the with the daylight hours. Yeah, absolutely. They did they didn't go to bed at go clubbing it, mm. get in at two o'clock in the morning, three o'clock in the morning, then go to bed for three hours, go to work. Yeah. A majority didn't work. Mm. They just fended for themselves, they grew stuff or hunted and fish. Um and I think I think it's it's sort of like a primitive thing, and it it certainly works for me. I mean, if I if I go out somewhere and I do a bit of wild camping, I I done a bit a couple of months ago with there's a wood there's a wood not far from me, uh, and I actually know the guy who owns the wood, um, and I spent two nights there with the dogs, just set a baby up again, and just slept there for two nights, and then. Um, <laughs> And it was amazing, the dogs love it, being outside. Oh, just imagine the dogs and, love uh, it. And I loved it, and uh, I slept like a log again. It, 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 you know, it, I don't know what it is, but it, I really, really sleep well with it. All right, right, if there was someone that was going to give it a go, what advice would you give them? 
What I would say is, is obviously take take the right gear. You need to be warm and safe. And what I use is a Gore-Tex bivy bag with a sleeping bag in it. Um, an ex-military sleeping bag just inside a Gore-Tex bag. No, no wind, no rain can get into it. Just zip it up and away you go. Um, and go go where it's safe. You don't want someone to be driving over you because you park, you, you've thrown up near a car park or a, in a park or something. Go somewhere safe and go and do it. And, you know, and don't go to a campsite where all the immunities are. That's that's not the point. The point is that you take with you what you eat and drink. And uh, when I do these things, by the way, I have no alcohol whatsoever. Um, um, just, just water mainly for drinks. And I'll, you know, I will drink some coffee. I'll make myself coffee and stuff like that. Um, but if someone's really thinking of doing a bit of wild camping. There's a lot of uh, websites out there doing it because it's got very popular, especially since COVID. Right, right. Yeah, I can imagine. It's got massive. It's mm. it's got massive now, and people cycle off into Wales on bikes and do a bit of wild camping right, and right. stuff like that. Just be aware, is obviously the trespass rules. You've got to be careful of that. You know, you, you don't want to be getting prosecuted. But but there is a right to roam in Wales now on all hills. Um, so you know you can get away with a sneaky beaky night here and there, and um, you know be respectful. If you if you take a mess, make make a mess, take the mess away with you. Don't leave anything behind. When you when you leave the next morning, it should look exactly the same as when you when you got there the day before. So you know be respectful for for, for the countryside and the animals within it. Um, and, but go and enjoy yourselves because it is absolutely amazing. I mean, I love it, and I'm going up to Scotland on the 7th of September, uh, which is uh, just over a week away, and I'll be doing a lot of that, and I'll be doing a bit of kayaking with the dogs, uh, and I'll be doing a bit of wild swimming, and I'll be doing a, a bit of all that. I've got this picture together. of the dog in the kayak. And I'll well, I, 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 I take them in the kayak, and, and they love it. Um, and they'll just sit in the kayak or they'll swim alongside. How many dogs do you take with them? So I'm taking six this time. Six dogs? Yeah, six dogs. And what kind of dogs are they? Uh, three Hungarian Vizzlers and three Spaniels. Oh, no, I yeah. All working then, dogs. Uh, all working dogs, yeah. All working dogs, yeah. Oh, okay. So, uh, you know, I'm really looking forward to that. And it's the only time that I actually sleep properly in my life. It's, it's, I, I can't put my finger on it because if it, if I tried to do it in my garden, it wouldn't work. I, I, I suppose, uh, last closing question, if there was anything in, in particular with regards to mindset and preparation for it, what what would you say to someone who to get the right mindset? For, there, so many people now, look, you know, I want to stay in a hotel or look, look, looking for comfort. It, it, it is completely out there, really. You know, I know you're yeah. saying it's becoming more popular. It's, it's very basic, you know, and a lot of people who are doing wild camping now are... Uh, taking hammocks and, and the hammocking trees, you know, in between two right, trees right. and stuff to make it a bit more comfortable. But that takes it away from me being on the ground, being mm. on the back to that air yeah, yeah, kind yeah. of uh, thing. Mm. The mindset I think you'd have to you have to be in is you have to say I'm gonna go and I'm gonna live on Amiga. You wanna you have to live on this meager diet of whatever you're gonna take. You know, don't get me wrong, you can take a bottle of wine with you if you want, but that's yeah. not the point for me. Mm. The point is to go there and go, right, this is what I'm gonna have. I take it or I catch it mm. or I kill it right, right, right. and eat it. Yeah. And, and that's it. And it's like, you know, from field to fork, isn't it? Yeah. It's that kind of thing <laughs> like where, Great where where you really want to go away and just have a bit of fun mm. and relax. Of course, it, it, it's and me, in, my, in my mind, you are the vicious uh, crocodile on me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, what, prob what, I'm, what, I'm what, probably what? as mad as him. <laughs> but, it, but in real terms, the mindset you have to be is just positive, positive in your own ability to go and spend time on your own. I'm not saying you have to go and do it on your own. I, I've got friends who will go away and do it themselves uh, I, 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 two or three at a time, and he'll ask me to come. 
but I won't go because the way I enjoy it is to just go and spend that time on my own. And I'm not some kind of mad hermit because I love being in and around people. But when I do this wild camping kind of thing, yeah, yeah, yeah. I go and do it for me. It's for me. It, it's for me. It's not for anyone else. And it, that really settles me and gives me fantastic development in my mindset. Okay, that, 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 that's really interesting. All right, well, uh, thank you very much for that, Charlie. Thanks for your words of advice. And who knows, if I, if I get in the right mindset, I may even come to you and have a go, I, I have a go as well. Have a go. Thanks very much, Charlie. My pleasure, my mate.